Welcome back. Today we're talking about swinging the golf club versus hitting the golf ball. The reason I have a carpenter's hammer in my hand is because I wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to swing something as opposed to hit. A carpenter holds, and we've talked about where to connect to the golf club, the hammer like this, and swings the head of the hammer to strike the nail. The carpenter does not hold the hammer here and use all of his effort to strike the head of the nail because it'll take a whole bunch more effort and it's very inaccurate. When we have the golf club in our hand and we've connected to it, we want to make sure that we're swinging the golf club through the golf ball toward our target. We've established a target, we have a consistent process. If we focus on the golf ball, invariably we will try and hit the golf ball to our target and hitting a golf ball does not allow the club to swing through, develop club head speed, use the science of the golf shaft itself to help and assist with that. Most importantly, it's not consistent. Anytime you try and hit something, you flex to impart force upon it, and that involves squeezing, sudden movements, and it takes us out of the position that we've accomplished through process. When you're swinging the golf club, you should finish with most of your weight on your front foot when you're done. As the club comes through, it releases, and our body weight follows the club head. Why is it so important to swing the golf club and not hit the golf ball? Because swinging the golf club is the consistent aspect that you've provided by a process that is comfortable and uncomplicated. If you focus on the golf ball, then you will invariably end up trying to hit the golf ball to its destination, and that is not consistent. Reward yourself with better shots swing the golf club and never hit the golf ball. See you in the next video.